Hello. I'd like to introduce you to the Elmo board. First of all, let's look at uh, the physical buttons we have on the bottom left. We have the power button, the home button, return button, settings, and to our right, we've got volume buttons. Pretty self-explanatory. And if we go over to this side, on the bottom right, we have the front cable port. So, of course, we've got our USBs, the two USB ports. We have a touch USB, and of course, HDMI. OK, continuing on with our cable ports. On the back, we have two input HDMI ports and one output. As well as that, we have two more USB ports in the back, and of course, one more touch USB. Also, we have the DP, which is display port. And finally, we have a few more ports at the back here. We've got the VGA, RS-232, AV port, and finally, two LAN ports. And now, I'd like to introduce you to Elmo Board's applications. Elmo is famous for its document cameras with their seamless connection. That's the first thing I'd like to introduce you to. OK, well, here's one of Elmo's famous document cameras. Um, this is the MXP 4K, and uh, let's connect it with the Elmo board, shall we? So we're going to go straight into the USB. OK, next thing we're going to do is choose USB. Now, we've got our lesson material. We're going to do some maths today. And as you can see, very clear 4K display. So we're going to go over to the pen icon, touch the pen icon, and now we can, we can annotate on the screen like so. It's a great convenient function. OK, so now I'm going to capture some of my students' answers. Um, so we've got some, uh, some of my students' geography work today. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the camera icon. Now, that's your shutter. The photograph is saved. The next thing, we're going to go to these two icons. These are the split screen icons. Um, the one on the left is multiple view, as you can see. If you just bear with me, I'm going to capture some of my students' work, as you can see. And one more to complete the picture. Camera icon, shutter, and as you can see, we have, we have multiple of my students' work up on the screen. So not only is this a great convenient way to display your students' work, it's also a great way to help your students broaden their learning skills by comparing and contrasting. OK, so now I've got uh, four of my students' work up on the board. I'd like to choose one and put it up on the whiteboard. So as you can see, these images have two icons on the bottom left. This one is, as you've guessed, it's a whiteboard. So we're going to go to the whiteboard icon, one touch. And this particular student's work is up on the whiteboard. I love this function. 
Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out very easily. And also, of course, you can move the image around the whiteboard. And um, I want to fix it in place. So just touch on the, the check mark. And of course, we can annotate, being a whiteboard. Go to the pen icon, one touch, and correct answer. So now let's look at another one of Elmo Board's applications. This is the S-Rite. Now the S-Rite is basically Elmo Board's whiteboard. So first of all, you can use your finger to write. OK? Or you can use one of these pens. They stick magnetically to the board. Um, let's go to the pen icon. So there are two ends, thick end, thin end. Let's go to thin, thin pen. Let's choose a setting for thin pen. All right, um, I'm going to go for black. Use it like a pen. And you can choose the thickness on this scale. Let's go for thin. OK. Next, we've got thick pen. So we can change the settings or choose the settings for thick pen. Um, so we had black for our thin pen. Let's go for red. Go for red, already chosen. And as you can see, you can choose the thickness. All right. We'll go up the thick end. And very convenient, as you can see. Your Elmo board will come with four pens. We have two with us right now. You'll have two spare. OK, so let's go back to our pen icon. Our thin pen setting is ready. And our thick pen setting is ready. You can do multiple strokes at the same time. So you can use both pens, for example, at the same time. And actually, you can do up to 12 strokes at a time. Unfortunately, I've only got 10 fingers. But there you are. OK, what a mess. So we need to do some erasing. There are three ways that you can erase on the whiteboard. The first way is, so we're going to go to our Eraser icon. The first way is just by running your finger or pen down the stroke. Uh, the second way is just by using your palm as an eraser. It's a great feature. And the third way is the lasso tool. So just circle around the strokes that you don't want and X means a race. There we go. And erase. Now for the graphics application. So here we have the graphics icon. And you can very easily draw shapes. A circle, triangle, all sorts. Rectangle. Square. Next, we have the split screen application. So we're going to go to this toolbox icon. We've got import picture and split screen writing. I'm going to touch that. Now, as you can see, we've got uh, there are two options. There's the two split screen or the three. Let's choose the two today. Two split screen. And our screen is split into two. So um, 
If you want to have two students, for example, presenting some work, they can do so on, on each side of the board. So I've got student A and student B over there. Um, I'm going to give student A white ink and student B, let's say, red ink. And they can present their work on separate sides of the screen. As you can see, the, stro the strokes won't cross over. Student B. There you are. On our s right whiteboard, we can add pages. So let's do some arithmetic. 2 times 2 equals 4. Last time I checked. We can add pages. As you can see, just go to the Add icon and add as many pages as you like. The other feature is the background setting feature. So touch on this icon. You can change the color of each page. We're going to go for white here, as you can see. And just by touching on the arrows, you can scroll through your pages. OK, so we need to save some work. There are two ways to save. You can save onto the local drive, which has 32 gigabytes of storage, or onto a network like Google Drive. And now to the convenient sidebar menus. We've got one here on the right of screen, and another one conveniently placed on the left of screen. So from top to bottom, we've got the return icon, home, the task view icon, which is much like your smartphone. You can scroll through your inputs and applications, basically anything you've done or anything you've opened on the screen. Going back to the USB, which is for the camera, the s right whiteboard, toolbox, and down the bottom is the source select input. OK, so let's look at screen mirroring. Um, I've got some, some of my students' devices here. Um, as you can see, so we've got a, a Windows laptop. Uh, I've got a MacBook. Um, this is a, a Chromebook. We've got the iPad, and down the end, we've got a Windows tablet. So let's get these screens up on the Elmo board. The first thing we need to do is touch on this icon. As you can see, we have a choice of several applications. We want the trans screen application. OK, trans screen is open. So this application is available on 5OS. So that's Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Chrome. Let's get started. OK, so let's connect our devices with the Elmo board. Firstly, we've got our Windows laptop computer. Very simply, start projection. As you can see, projection has started. Let's go to the Chromebook. Uh, we're going to go connect, share screen, and up on the screen there. Next, we've got the iPad. And we're going to go to screen mirroring. And lucky last, we're on the Windows tablet, start projection, and there they all are up on the Elmo board.
Let me show you some other functions of the trend screen application. Firstly, we can very easily change the position of the student screens, as you can see. And if I go over to the other side, we can also change the screen layout. So mirror preview. OK. And go back. Also, what I do on here, on the Elmo board, can be seen on the Windows PCs. So it has not only a visual function, but as you'll be able to hear, also an audio function. So let's take a look at some more Elmo board applications. We're going to go to our application icon. We have an array here, as you can see. Uh, we've got our browser for surfing the internet. We've got WPS Office, which can handle Excel, Word, Office documents. And also, we have Elmo Play. Now, Elmo Play is your, your one-stop shop for downloading apps and also for application updates. That will happen here on this application. Um, we've got Kingsoft Mobile Security, for example. And also we've got Scotty Go Education, which is uh, a learning platform for children for learning coding. So now for an option of the Elmo board. This board here has a Windows computer embedded in the back. So let's go to source setting, OPS, and we have a Windows OS for those many Windows users. And another option with the Elmo board is Chrome. So, so this unit has a Chrome box in the back. Let me show you. Once again, we go to source settings. And we have Chrome. So with this option, Google for Education, which of course includes Google Classroom, becomes available.